Bonjour, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my NHL 21 franchise mode here in Quebec City with the 32nd NHL team, the Nordiques. Thank you guys so much for the support for these two new series. Uh, it's been incredible. Uh, my subscriber growth is at an all-time high. You guys are killing it. Thank you so much for the support, especially uh, during these last couple months of school. I've been super inconsistent, but you guys are the constant. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. But I know what you guys are here for. Quebec and the Nordiques. We did end up losing our first ever game. 2 nothing. We have yet to score our first goal as a franchise in the National Hockey League. I, I butchered that, I'm sure. <laughs> but the rule is we can only have French Canadian and a few actual French from like France players on our team. But Alexi Petroangelov did bring up a great point in the comments. I, I always read comments. Thank you guys, seriously, uh, for all the suggestions here. I got a lot. Now, he says. Uh, I think this is a cool opportunity to bring back Monday Night Raw. Raw, 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 I already butchered it. Monday Night Raw, <laughs> uh, potentially, and look for him to be our future captain. Totally agree with that point. For real players, only Quebec and French-born players make sense, but we can only draft and pick guys with French-Canadian last names. It limits our availability in the queue. I completely agree with this. Now, yeah, my rule is a little convoluted. I tested it out once and I got five years in and it was very hard to build a competitive team just within the QMJHL. Now, Alexi suggests, well, later down the line, there's going to be quote-unquote French players in the WHL, the OHL, because... EA and their computer-generated guys go anywhere, and I think it's a great idea when we get to the point, if there's a computer-generated guy, we can we can bring him to this team if the last name is French enough. But when we get to that stop, we will absolutely discuss it farther. But for right now, there's not a whole lot to talk about in this upcoming draft. There's no high talent in the top five that we can go out and get. If this was last year's draft, Alexi Lafreniere would be phenomenal. Top 10, there is no French players. But then we get down to Joshua Waugh. Monday Night Waugh, one-third of the MVP line in Columbus back in the day. I would love to bring him to Quebec. Future captain for sure. There's a few other guys that I was looking at. The talent here for French players in the first year draft isn't anything crazy. We got Le Hurieu, uh Bulldog, uh, butcher that. Uh, a few other guys. I kind of want to stay away from actual players with, with actual people because I doubt he's going to be anything special. Uh, this is Logan Malu. Malu. Uh, he has a French enough last name, but I'm not sure if he's an actual player. I should actually Google that. And then we got uh, Mela Testa. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. <laughs> well, last episode we drafted this team. We brought it all together. Here's our squad. I'm not sure if this team is going to be the best. I mean, have I have I uh, done power play and special team units already? Have I? Hold on. Let's go through that. Now, do I want... No, I probably don't want him there. I probably want Broussard... Th no, I want Bellevue. Hold on a sec. We, we gotta fix this lineup a little bit. I can keep... Maybe we send Houdon down there. I would like... Uh, uh, Bouvillier up here, at least in the top six... Chase on there. What if we go? No, that doesn't work. No pluses so far. What if we go? They get a plus one there if we go Paquette. Mm, anybody? Any scratch players here? Okay, nothing. Nothing crazy. Uh, 
I think that's fine. Oh, if we go Stastny on the second line and Bavillier up there, yeah, no, we get plus ones on the top three lines. I am a-okay with that. Defensively, defensively, it's not looking too bad. Bottom pairing, not great. Would we rather have that? Uh, you know what? Let's let's keep let's 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 do the three uh, the two plus threes and the one minus three first. Let's just let's just see. You know, power play units. I have no idea what we should do here. I mean, I guess that I don't I don't expect this team to compete in year number one. It's probably gonna be until year number five when this team's like okay, we we can try we can contend. You know. Uh, Sammy Blay is a guy that I would like to see grow. Uh, Paquette. Do I want Paquette there or do I want to go like... I don't know. What are we... What, what are we feeling? <laughs> is Chase on already on? No? Okay, we can put Chase on there. I think that's... That's fine by my standards. Uh, yep, okay. Oh, wait, do we want to go Bavillier here? Instead of Broussard? Yeah, that might as well. It, I hope we can get... Wait, is he already on there? Or am I stupid? He's already there. I'm so dumb. <laughs> uh, penalty kill's fine. Oh, this is... I, when was the last time I edited lineups live on video? Uh, Cedric Paquette. Ooh, who does not fit? Uh, Morin? <laughs> uh, Matheson, hey! Oh... <laughs> McDermott, uh, what if we go, Savard's already there, I think, Savard is already there, Jason Demers, Demers, okay, uh, oh, that's fine for right now, we, we can adjust it throughout the season, I, I'm, I'm fine with that, oh wait, no, 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 you, you're gonna get out of here, you, you stupid bastard, yeah, okay, that, uh, no, you know what, actually, let's go, let's go Sammy Blay here, Let's go Sammy Blade, my boy. I would uh, he can grow. He can grow on this roster for sure. Okay, let me do this. Uh Pavilier there. We'll take out uh JSD and we'll, we will we will put in Sammy Blade cuz I would like to see him succeed on this team. Wait, who did what the Who do we, uh... Uh, you know, Hudon's fast. He, he's fine there. Yeah. Shoot out. Okie dokie. Nice. Goaltenders, you got Jonathan Bernier and Louis Domingue. HL squad. Seriously, don't worry about it. Uh, we, we don't, we don't want to talk about the... What did, what, what did I name my AHL squad? I can't remember. It's the Gatno Gentleman. I think it's... Yeah, the Gatno Gentleman somewhere. The Gatno Gentleman. You gotta love it. Okay. First ever game did not go our way. We do need to name a captain, though. First captain in franchise history. I think it should go... Let's, let's give it to Paul Stastny. Paul Stastny, he, he's technically American, but he was born in Quebec. We will give him the C. He is our best centerman. He is one of the old dudes. Let's give it to him. Not sure if he's going to be... He, he might be with us until he retires. Uh, but you know what? Let's see. Let's see if we can score our first ever goal. Game number two in franchise history here in Nashville. Smashville. Hell yeah. Tennessee. Okay. First period. Let's friggin' go. First goal of the game. It's Forsberg. Yeah, we might get dunked on this season. <laughs> it, uh, it might not go our way this year. Come on, come on, Quebec. You've been, you were not going to score a goal first period. Okay, second period. Zero goals for Quebec. Oh, I got to I got to slow sim until we get our first first goal in franchise history being shut out in five periods. Power play Quebec. Oh, come on, power play Nashville. Power play Quebec again late in this game. Oh. No! Forsberg scores his second of the evening. And the Nordiques have been shut out two games in a row. Oh. You know, that was a great game. Who was our goalie that game? Our goalie was uh, Deming. Deming had a phenomenal evening. Damn. So offensively, we're not there. Maybe, maybe one day. Maybe one day very soon we got to, you know, what, what if I do... 
I'm not, I'm not saying I'm going to do this right now, but there is a French Canadian playing for the New York Rangers. Uh, New York, New York Rangers. I'm not saying I would do this. I would love to bring him on, but I doubt there's anything there. They would, yeah. <laughs> we'd have to send him like three first round draft picks, which in this case are more valuable until we find that French Canadian in the draft. So we have been shut out two games in a row. <clears throat> Gotta clear my throat. I said I gotta slow some until we score our first ever goal. We are in the modified uh, divisions, so you got the you got the all Canadian division, evening it up with eight teams. Then you got the West. Then you got like the Central, and then you got the East division, or the whatever you want to call it. Here in the Ball Arena, who decided that was a good idea? First period. Hey, hey, it's it's the it's the actual Quebec Nordiques versus the actual Quebec Nordiques. Power play, five on three. First goal in franchise hi history is Alex Chason. Is it Ale Alex Chason? Chason with a power play marker here against the former Quebec Nordiques. Oh, you love to see it. Our first goal. Oh, it only took three games. And Nathan McKinnon will indeed tie this one. A power play, Quebec. No, I mean, Colorado Jesus. <laughs> oh, my. Come on, boys. I would love to inch out one victory here early in the year. Oh, especially against Colorado. A dangerous team. Third period underway. Power play, Colorado. They will score. It's coming in pairs. Nathan McKinnon gets his second. And then it's Kale McCarr. Oh, 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 oh. Getting absolutely diced and sliced up by the Colorado Avalanche. I almost said the Nordiques again. Yeah. Lay them to rest. 5-1 loss. Jonathan Bernier got toasted there in the third period. <laughs> oh, my. Okay. Well, 0-3 to start the season. Uh, let's see if we go speed simulation. We'll score a couple more goals, right? Oh, we're, we're scoring uh, 0.33333 goals per game. Is that is that if my math is correct? Yep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's head to the end of month number one in October. Can we score a couple of goals? Obviously, I just show you the draft class. I don't. I don't know why I jump back into this, but uh, I uh, we're going to get we are going to get Joshua Wah. Either which way, uh, we'll probably be a bottom five team this year. Uh, wait, what was going on? Simulation? Why do you what? Hey, we got our first win against the Buffalo Sabres. Yes, baby. The Buffalo Dumpster Fire Sabres. Even though they're four. four. <laughs> oh, yes. Our first victory in franchise history comes against the Sabres. Oh, oh, I love that. That's delicious. Philly. That's an OT loss. That's a shootout loss. Vancouver. And it's a shootout victory. 2-5-2 two, and two after our first... First? First month of play. Sammy Blay leading us in points. Uh, we have six points. So our team has six points. Sammy Blay has seven. Oh, the Philadelphia Flyers. 1-7-1. <laughs> and one. Even in this game, they can't be good. So even with their horrendous start, we're not we're not we're not the worst team in the league. And considering this division, uh, ooh, Flames, Canadians, uh, the Leafs, Canucks. Okay, we we have a little bit of, you know what? Let me go through two months and then and then look. You know, uh, I feel uh, I feel like that's the right thing to do here. Month number two, do we play the Canadians? I would love... Oh, let's re let's reignite the the Quebec rivalry, rivalry. I can't speak. Oh, my God. I haven't recorded in a while. I'm just doing these videos 
uh, on my free time now, <laughs> and I'm out of sorts here. Okay, I gotta stop saying okay. Jesus Christ, use other words, Owen. Damn it. Thumbs. I'm not happy with how this team. Well, I, d I don't care, Paul. Paul. Uh, I'm going to disagree with that. I mean, you're you're right, Paul. Captain Paul Stastny. You gotta be the leader here in Quebec, and we are getting a dunked on. This team might take a long time. <laughs> this team is probably gonna suck, so we beat Buffalo, we beat Vancouver, and Detroit. I feel like there's a trend. <laughs> Holy, how many, if we make it over 10 wins in the regular season, we beat Washington, okay. Uh, we get a point against uh, LA, we get obliterated by Edmonton <laughs> holy moly and Calgary we get shut out that's two games in a row we got shut out four 14 and three if we get over 10 wins I will be surprised we've not been good let's play our Quebec counterparts you got the Battle of Ontario now you got the Battle of Quebec back first period two nothing Montreal oh my second period Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Ah. Oh no. Oh <laughs> no. Oh my. Okay. Okay. Oh my Montreal. We could you couldn't have just like laid back. Okay, I'm just writing down a record against Montreal. Uh one L. Okay. I gotta stop saying okay. Like, or like. I Radio class not helping me out, right? <laughs> well, Brendan Gallagher had himself a great game. And we have been shut out three games in a row. Place bets now. I think we're gonna go to the end of the season this episode. I, I don't think we're gonna win more than ten games. That is a fourth shutout in a row. Our points are not... Usually, usually the game, if you're a bad team, it gives you a way out, and it's like, okay, stop saying okay, oh! <laughs> What's another word for okay? All right, mighty. <laughs> usually, the AI will allow a bad team to score some goals, not get shut out four games in a row. <laughs> That's rough. Yeah, because if you're a great team, oh, your power play will suck. Or the AI is so weird in this game. But through two months, I don't think uh, we're very good. Actually, I'm going to go through three months. I'm going to get to close to halfway through the season. Because I just feel this team is not going to be exciting to watch. And... You probably don't want this to be the longest video, and when I say that, the Quebec Nordiques have won two games in a row for the first time in franchise history. Second time? I think we... That's three wins in the month of December. Our best... That's four wins in the month of December. That's five wins in the month of December. That's... <laughs> Quebec, what? What? That was that was the best winning streak in franchise history. What a month for the Nordiques! Just like that, we pull some points out of our behind. I'm okay with that. I know we're we're probably gonna be the worst team in the NHL, but that little streak right there is that the first time we won multiple. I believe, uh, yeah. First time we've won multiple games back-to-back. -back. Uh, that is that is correct, Owen. Wow. One, two, th oh, wait. So that was two wins, a loss, and then five wins in a row. I would say that that was a great month of hockey. At the end of three months, basically halfway through the first season with the Nordiques. Alex Jason, the man who scored our first goal in franchise history, has 11. Maybe he can grow. I'd love to... I'm the, um, the most... 
Most of these players on this team, I had to think of how to say that. Most of the players on this team, I would like to keep. Because out of all the French Canadians in the NHL, I have most of the good ones. Now, there's players like, I would love to get a Jonathan Huberdeau. Or a Patrice Bergeron. No, Patrice, is he born in Quebec? I have a list somewhere on my phone, but Bavillier has been pretty solid. Chason's a plus minus of a zero. And Ch oh, Chasudon. Okay, okay. Jonathan Druin. Ah, Sammy Blay. I would love to see him grow. He's already an eighty. That's not bad. Paul Stastny, our captain. Paul and Paul. Paul Stastny. What's going on, man? You okay, Paul? <laughs> Goalie wise, Jonathan Bernier, 892. Ah, Louis Domingue, it is what it is. I will. I'll check the entire NHL. Might as well. I, we're, since we are a very crappy team, it's probably affecting goals scored in the NHL. Or just the off amount of offense in general. The goalies this year are playing pretty solid. Why can't I get a goalie that ever plays good? Hellebuck, Morazic, Carey Price. Gibson, Vasilevsky, and Markstrom are all... Ab Why can't I ever get goalies that are good? Why? Why? I never, ever get goalies that are like, Yeah, here, Vesna. <laughs> oh, my. Okay. Rookie skaters. Timmy Stu, 38 points. Kirill Kaprizov. Then you got this uh, computer-generated guy from the, the fake draft. <laughs> Ivan Chekovich. Alexis, Alexi Lafreniere. I would love to bring him on. Trade like three first round draft picks. Please, New York. Come on, let's make a deal. Defenseman, Eric Carlson, Shea Theodore, Petrangelo. Yeah, it's about what I think it'd be. All skaters, Dreisaitl, McDavid. Please hold over that 100 point, 100 point pace. I never see these two go off in a season. In simulation. It never happens. I didn't check goals, but I'm not going back now. There's no turning back. I believe a 26 points is good for second worst in the NHL. The LA Kings are 8, 26, and 3 with 19 points. That's not very good. That is not good. Nope. <laughs> oh, mm. uh, do we play Montreal this month? No. We must have a Decent end of the sea. How many times have we played Montreal? We got Montreal there. Don't we play them? Where are we? We're here in December. We've only played them once so far. That's two times? We only played them twice? Twice in a season? Really? Are we not supposed to have, like... You know what? I thought we'd have more games against them, but it's okay. Weird. In the month of January, let's go ahead, just get through this month. Let's power right through. Can we go on another winning streak? I'm not too sure, but it looks like we're guaranteed a top three pick at this point. I doubt. That's another win. We have 12 wins. If you bet over 10, you win absolutely nothing. You win my gratitude, though. Congratulations. <laughs> another loss. Another one. Another one. Another one. We are picking points up in extra time, so we can play very low-scoring affairs. Okay, coach. 44 games. Serious. Yeah, we need more time, though, coach. Georges Lacroix. <laughs> Lacroix! <laughs> we have a super French coach. Did I not know his name before then? That's awesome. I love that. Have I it's been a while since I've played this franchise mode in particular, but... Wow, we got a super French coach as well. It makes sense. Detroit! Dumpster fire. And we beat Boston! Wow, we are... We're winning game! We, 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 we're we not allowed, you know? <laughs> you, you know what I mean? <laughs> Nine one loss, yeah. yeah. And then we pick up a point in extra time. At least we're trying to make it an exciting season for uh, ticket holders. Another OT loss. And that's a 5-1... 5-1 loss. 5-3. I can't read. Give me a break. Month of February. Here we go. We will slow sim against Montreal. I almost guarantee we get uh, clobbered. Anthony... Ooh! Anthony Duclair. Anthony Duclair is one of the French players on my list. I gotta bring in Anthony. 
Oh, at that price? Absolutely. What am I? I'm not giving up anything for that. For this is the dumbest trade I've ever seen. Why would they? Why would they do that? They they just I didn't I didn't even look at him. He wasn't I wasn't going to go out of my way to pick him up until it made sense, but a fourth a fifth for fourth and Anthony Duclair. Yeah. Why why why? I I, I kind of want to sign Anthony Ducla Duclair to an extension right right this instant. Anthony, Duke, we got so many players. I'm coming home. <laughs> Let's see. How much money would you want? 2.6. Oh, we should be able to get everybody back anyways. Ooh, he... Well... How many, how many years did you want? Two years? Uh, uh, the other two years. You know what? At three? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. We're not going to be spending very much money. Take it. Bouvillier... Eight years. Let's lock him down. Let's lock him down. He probably won't be our first line center for uh, uh, he for very long, but we we need these French Canadians on the squad. Times 0 0.85, 85 equals 3.2 for eight years. I am very much okay with that. 3.3. Oh, that's okay with me. Everybody else, I can deal with at a later point. But right now we gotta we gotta introduce Anthony Duclair to the Quebec Nordiques. Out of all the teams they could have offered that trade to, they pick us. I like it. Oh right, Sam Sammy Blay is injured. Did when did that happen? Wait, is my has my lineup changed completely? Or is this what I did? It go best lines for Anthony Duclair. I'm so confused. Wait, hold on. Let me... Because... What? Did I go best lines? What the hell? Rules... Uh, is it... What would it be? Would it be settings? I'm so confused. Why is this being difficult? Rules. Can I not... Uh, head coach, edit lines. Why was that on? Minor league head coach. What the frig? Fully healed. Oh, okay. So I might have missed a couple of things. So it just edit completely edited my lineups. <sighs> oh, you hate to see it. You know what? Now, now we know. I don't know why. Lo lovely. Lovely game. Lovely. This game is so much fun. <laughs> I play it every single day. Every day, every day of my... <laughs> well, Anthony Duclair, you know what? L let's just go best lines, see what we can fix up. Anthony Duclair. They don't get a plus there. Mm, Paul Stashny. Sammy Blay is out. Honestly, it's where, where this season's basically done, as it is. Uh... Why? Uh, Sebastian... Wait, let's go. Who's who's our scratch player? Nicholas DeLaurier! You gotta get the grinder in there, baby. Uh, I think... You know what? That's... I, I don't care. At this point... <laughs> at this point... Yeah. Anthony Duclair, welcome... Welcome to Quebec, though. That's a trade... 82 overall? For a fourth and a fifth... Basically a fifth round pick. That's what they got. Lacroix. Lacroix wants to talk. I apologize, but I never said I'd fix it. Did I say I'd fix it? Well, I'm going to disagree. Lacroix, I will fire you into the St. Lawrence River. I apologize. <laughs> Let's see. Anthony Duclair has decided to sign that deal. Bouvillier will be here until he's old <laughs> Montreal is playing this game right here yeah, let's go ahead and slow sim I'd like to jump into like an overtime or like uh, Sammy Blay is fully healed yeah let's get him back in the lineup Sammy Blay 
Let's go best lines again. Yikes, that bottom. <laughs> Sammy Blay. Then we will go Chase on here, maybe. Beauvillier. Get a plus. Do we... Oh, they get a plus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm! Ho -ho! Plus five on the second line. Jason, Paul Stastny, and Anthony Duclair. That's my first plus five in a while. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Sheesh. Sheesh. Did not expect that. <laughs> I think... Uh, let me see. I'd rather uh, Houdon... Actually, let's go Broussard there. That's not, that could be worse, right? That could be worse. Screw it. Let's. Yeah. yeah. Let's stick with it. Sure. <laughs> Montreal. Let's play the Canadiens. Le Montreal. I'm sorry. <laughs> of all, of all, of all the places I pick, I pick Quebec, where I have no idea how to do a French accent. I can can't speak any French. Montreal. First period is gonna be zero zero. Second period, two one. Le Habs. Houdon does get one. Crazy. Third period. Former Canadian Houdon. Power play Montreal. Ah, oh, Nick Suzuki. Slick Nick. Oh, Gallagher. Oh, God. Well. <laughs> hey, Declare gets one. I like that. But uh, we lose against the Canadians again. That was a 5 2 L. Let me write that down. I just want to hold on to the series. Or just, I just want to. You know, so I don't have to go back later. 5-2 loss against Le Canadiens de Montreal. Trade deadline? You know what? We can go into the trade deadline. Yeah, that doesn't bother me. I'll just go best lines when I get back out. Well, yeah, screw it. Let's, let's go into the trade deadline. Maybe we can swing a first for, like, maybe Demir's. I'd love to bring in a first for next year. This year, definitely don't need the first round pick. Maybe. That's another, that's a win. So we really have the ability of winning games and losing them terribly. So <laughs> we're like a regular expansion team. We're fun. We're slick. We're cool. We're the cool kids. A for sure a seller. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's head in. Enter the trade deadline. I doubt there's going to be anything out there for us. Ooh, Mark andre Fleury. That's a French-Canadian. If I've, if, I've, if I've ever seen it. Jonathan Tays. Hey, Siri. Where is Jonathan Tays from? Jonathan He's from Winnipeg! <laughs> <laughs> oh... <laughs> It's <laughs> funny. I'm cracking myself up. Nashville trades Ellis and Holla to Anaheim Exchange for a first and Tracy. Ooh. That's a trade and a half. Yeah, if you have if anybody out there has suggestions for who you might want me to bring in here in a couple of years, uh just let me know. Uh hey Siri. Where is Brandon Montour from? Goddamn Ontario natives. Ontario kids. <laughs> Every player with a French last name is from Ontario. Ah! <laughs> uh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Hmm. Could, maybe I could probably get a first for player on my squad. Squaw! No new hooks from like BC. That makes me sad. <laughs> mm. uh, okay, so let's just let's just go to my fine trade thing. See if we could. I'm okay with trading Demir's. Demir's totally. He's just gonna drop a trade. He's just gonna drop in trade value anyway. Same with Dennis. Uh, Dennis David Savard, right? Yeah. What am I on? <laughs> 
Anything out there. A first round pick would be lovely. Come on. Five years, five mil, one year left. Ooh. Oh, he's, he's French Canadian, right? The Anaheim Ducks. The Anaheim Ducks do have a plethora of French Canadian kids there. It looks like. It might be best to talk to the Anaheim Ducks. Let's talk to the Anaheim Ducks. The Anaheim Ducks. Jason Demers. They want to go on a playoff run. That makes sense. Anaheim, you got a lot there. You do have a lot. Starters. I want to say Manson is French Canadian. But I'm not sure. <laughs> Comtois. 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 I think he's French Canadian as well. Hmm. Morand. Anthony Morand. I would love, I would love, love, love to bring on one of, I, Max Jones. Max Jones is from Ontario. I can almost, without a shadow of a doubt, say that. But I, but, Mac, Maxime, I can't spell Maxime. Comtois. Where is he from? Where are you from? I don't know where that is. Is that... He's... Maxime Comtois. <laughs> Give me what I want. But then... You got another French Canadian here. I believe... Ben... <laughs> oh my god. Ben... Benoit... Oh no! Go back. Oh god. What if I just go Zhru? Zhru. <laughs> Wait, he is from. He's from France? He's from. I gotta bring him on. Maxime Contois. Zhru. <laughs> I can add on something to that. I'll do like a third. Demir's Maxime Contois. Yeah. Oh, that'll go through. Trade rejected, so a third would get it done. So what about a fifth? Would a fifth get it done, huh? So a third. I think a third is totally fair. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Hell, hell yes. Demir's a third. Maxime Comtois. Jeroul. Jeroul. But how about... How about... How about... Uh... No, no, no. Skaters match in the block. Anybody else you want to give up on? Morant. Anthony Morand. Morand. <laughs> Anthony Morand. Anaheim. This might be the most boring trade deadline. He's from Quebec. I gotta bring him on. Trade rejected. Okay. But we're getting on the right path. Would you like a pristine... Who's coming off the blocks this year? Uh, we could totally get back Derek Broussard. I think we got him on waivers. Okay. We are on the right track, though. We are on the right track. How about another third round pick? Take it! Trade has been accepted! You know, we, we traded away, you know, two guys that are for sure staples of this team. But we get Maxime Comtois, Rule, and Morand. Three young French-Canadian kids. I'm not sure about Morand. I think he has the worst chance. But having him on this team, just giving him a chance. He could he could, he could, do, he could do something there, you know? <laughs> How about Savard? No trades found. So wow, wow. They they all hate him. Wow, that's that's kind of mean. That's kind of mean. Why would you why would you do this such a thing? You know, chase on. I doubt any. Yeah, you're not gonna get anything for anybody else on this squad. I doubt that. How about goalies? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, let me. Uh, I doubt. Wait, hold on. Anybody? Wait, Peron. Peron. He's got two years left at four mil. Peron. 
Let's go, let's just talk with St. Louis here for a second. The St. Louis Blues. Now, you don't want to win, per se? Do you want to... Ooh, he's got a lot of trade value. I doubt we got anything on this roster to make a trade. A se two seconds? Per per Perron. Per 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 Perron. He's 32. We can always make that trade in the offseason. Well, the deadline has officially passed. Our first one as GM, and I think it went better than I had expected. Surprisingly, I think, you know, going into that, we didn't have a lot of assets, but I feel what we got back really shows what we can do with this team going to the future. Now, do I want... Now, the AHL squad's going to do their own thing. I'm not worried about Morand or Jules. Jules? Jules? I'm sorry. If there's any French Canadians or French people, subscribe to me. I apologize for this entire abomination of a series. We're only episode... This is the second episode or something like that? <laughs> oh, my. NHL-wise... Let's go ahead and just see see what we're working with. I would love, 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 love. Oh, it does not look pretty now. Best lines. Maxime Comtois. 22 years of age on a team like this. He could grow. He could grow very well. Now, what we're going to do here. Ooh, okay. Now, him there. There, okay. We're on the right path. Sammy Blay. How, how did it look before? Chase on down here. Plus three. I am very okay with a plus three. To, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with a plus three. They would only lose the plus. So Paul Stastny is is important. What I'm going to do here. Let's, let's get yeah, plus one, plus three. Plus five with... I'd rather Comtois up in the, in the top six with Duclair and Stastny. I think it just works better for him if we put stock into him at 22 on this team he could be an 85 overall by the end of next year and be an absolute tank dude is six foot two 215 pounds only 22 former captain of the canada junior team in the world juniors now who do i want down there on the bottom line i can go hudan Oh, that's fine. Yep. <laughs> Defensively, we already look better. So it's going to stay like that. Luzon's only 23. Let's get him up there with Savard. Hell yeah. That's a lot of boys. I'm not going to touch special teams. We are already here. Actually, does Comtois need a contract? I'll sign him up for eight years if I can. All expiring. Who? Maxime Comtois. Yeah. How much? What do you want? You want eight years? Eight years is a contract. <laughs> I'm okay with that deal. I gotta lock down these French Canadians right now. Because you know they're gonna be worth plenty of money. Hell yeah. Only give him, only have to give him... If he grows into what I think he's gonna be... Yeah. This is 100% worth the contract. Potentially future captain 4.3 for eight years. Give me what I want. Give it to me. Where is she? Martha. Yeah, I've been watching uh, a lot of DCEU as of, as of late in my spare time. <laughs> okay. No, stop saying okay. I don't, I, I'm so tired. <laughs> uh, last month of play. We will slow sim the last game of the season here. Maxime Comtois, welcome. He has decided to sign until he is 30 plus years of age. Welcome to Quebec. Playing your first game. It's a shootout loss. Oliver Shillington. I'm pretty sure he's not French-Canadian. I want to say he's Swedish. So obviously he's not French. <laughs> Thank you for... Uh, I'm glad I didn't have to Google that. <laughs> I mean, William Nylander's like from Alberta, but he plays for the Swedish teams, right? I know he's from Canada. He's like from Calgary. Or somewhere in West Canada, right? That's another win, so we're, we can win games. 
We not we might not make the playoffs next year, but I think overall we we are taking the necessary steps going forward. Islanders, that's a that's a big L. Vancouver, we beat the <laughs> we beat the Canucks. <laughs> that's two times this year. We did we just sweep the season series against the Canucks? I find that hilarious. The Canucks with a with a legitimate NHL team. And Jim Benning, my God, how have or, how have, how has GM thumbs come in and already made a better team than Vancouver, or play playable against Vancouver? You know what I mean. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna lose fifty. We've already lost fifty plus games. Sixty? Question mark. We beat Chicago. Are we gonna hit fifty losses in regulation? Four away. Uh oh, Spaghettio. <laughs> uh oh. That's a loss. Oh, God. Walla Walla, Washington. That is a loss. One more until 50 regulation losses on the season. And it will come down to game number 82 against Connor McDavid's Edmonton Oilers. It looks like they're fighting for a playoff spot. I'm not sure where they sit, but we will check this out afterwards. First period. 0-0. Zero, zero. Come on, I'd love to jump into a third period. Second period. Okay, well, looks like that's not going to be happening today. <laughs> and the Edmonton Oilers look to obliterate Quebec. Leon Dreisaitl will get on the board there. And, to, oh, Roussel with the shorty on Bennington on Edmonton? Damn, that's rough. <laughs> <gasps> uh, Matheson gets a late one and the last goal comes from the D-man and our first season as GM of the new NHL team the Quebec Nordiques our first season has officially ended 82 games through let's uh, sim a day so the rest of the league can catch up to us a sim another day come on come on have they all played 82 games they have Let's see what the season looked like in the, what do we call it? The North Division, the Canadian Division, Toronto, Calgary, Montreal, Winnipeg, and Edmonton. Vancouver, Ottawa, and Quebec miss out. That's That, that seems pretty realistic. I know in uh, IRL this year in the NHL, only four teams per division can make it. But considering you can have wild cards in this West Division or West Conference. Yeah, it makes sense that it would go to the Canadian Division. i like to see that. Nice. And then we go to the Central Division. Minnesota, Anaheim, and the Sharks. Vegas misses. Colorado misses. St. Louis misses. Oh, Jesus. Ve Vegas and Colorado miss the playoffs? The Sharks? The Ducks? The Wilds? <laughs> uh? <laughs> what? How does that make any sense? The the actual Central Division, Tampa, Carolina, Florida, Dallas, Detroit, Chicago, Nashville, and Columbus. Woo. Thank God Tampa made it. Jeez Louise. Metro or East Division. New York. New York number two. <laughs> no offense, Islanders fans. Pittsburgh. The Devils, Washington, Boston, Buffalo, and Philly miss. Boston, really? <laughs> Buffalo. <laughs> and who was bottom, 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 bottom? L.A., Quebec, Philly. We're guaranteed a great pick, but we will, we will be moving back nearer to Joshua Waugh's uh, projected uh, placement in the draft. And we're looking to uh, definitely retain some assets. Who was the best team? Looked like it was the Tampa Bay Lightning. 117 points. Toronto, Minnesota, Carolina. All makes sense to me. And that is the season standings for our team. How rough was it? Paul Stastny didn't start the season hot. But he ended really well. Minus 36. Could work on that. Chase Son. He could grow. He could definitely grow with a season like that. Sammy Blay, I would love to see him grow, especially at 24 years of age. Jonathan Druin, not bad, actually. Uh, Anthony Duclair, 
coming over. How were you for us? 21 points in 31 games. Hell yes. Hell yes. Anthony Bouvillier, not too bad. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six players in our top 12 with over half a point per game. Or oh, basically. Basically. Anthony Bouvillier, I'll, I'll count him as half point per game. But that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Uh, Charles Houdon. Not bad. Honestly, we got points all around. Just nobody took it and ran with it and could support this team enough. Could have been worse, though. Defensively, Luzon. Luzon. I would love to see him grow. 22, 23 years of age. He's that perfect age. Goalie-wise, Jonathan Bernier. Rest in peace. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, same with Louis Domingue. <laughs> oh, he only played 27 games and had 95 goals against. That's pretty brutal, man. And the entire NHL, who's taken home some awards? Ooh, entire league, best goalie. Give it to, yeah, Andre Vasilevsky. By far and away the best goalie in the NHL right this instant. Where did Flurry end up? The Buffalo Sabres. Oh, I'm sorry, Buffalo. I enjoy the Buffalo Sabres, but it's sad. Timmy Stew is going to win the Rocket. Or not the Rocket. What do you call the Rookie Award? The Calder! 40 goals. Kaprizov had a great season, too. Same with the computer-generated guy for Anaheim. Djokovic Lafreniere. I, I will have you in this franchise mode at some point. You better believe it. Oh, no, not best goalie. Going to the best defenseman. Eric Carlson. All the way, I think Victor Hedman definitely has a chance of winning it, especially with that plus-minus, but the points definitely in Carlson's favor. Favoir. Most points, 108 for Ovechkin. Dreisaitl and McDavid can never get over 100 damn points in this game. Why? Why? This game? Ah, come on. It would be so nice to see McDavid go out there and just layeth the smacketh down. Ovechkin wins the Rocket. I don't know how many times in a row, but my God. Steven Stammers, uh, Patty Line, Kucherov. Yeah, looks about right. Obviously, it's Backstrom with the most assists. And that is the first season here with this new league, new divisions. What are the playoffs looking like, though? What are the playoffs looking like here? Toronto, Edmonton, Calgary, Montreal, <laughs> Minnesota, Vancouver. Not Vancouver, Winnipeg. I just got to end this episode. <laughs> Anaheim, San Jose. Wow, a lot of Can I love to see the Canadian teams. Tampa, Washington, Carolina, Florida, Rangers, Devils, Islanders, and the Penguins. I'm struggling to talk here to end the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this one, please leave a like, leave a comment, share this with people who you think may enjoy this sort of thing. Be sure to check out my Twitter. I will see you in our first ever off season with the Quebec Nordiques. Ciao.